Welcome to Butler's Inventor Tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to take all of our drawings that we've made in Invention Innovation and put them on one drawing to turn them in. We're going to come up to the Get Started tab and create a new file and we're going to make a standard IDW. Click once and say create. This brings up a sheet that we're used to seeing with a title block in the bottom right. We're going to put our different drawings in the middle here. So I'm going to come to the Place Views tab and select a base. We need to find our parts. So inside of here we're looking for a specific file. So we're going to come over and search in a folder. Open an existing file. You're going to drop down the look in area and select your H drive, which is your first initial, last name, and your number, 000. I have mine nested in a couple extra deeper folders. And the first one we're looking to find is our clamp block that we made. We're going to click it and we're going to open it. This drawing view screen gets in the way a little bit, so we're going to drag it slightly off the screen. I still want to be able to access it, but I want to see my entire screen here. It is going to give me the option to, to do a front, top, right, and ISO. All of these drawings, we're going to switch the navigation cube right here, and we're going to click that little house button. That's going to give us an isometric view. We're going to hover over our piece, click, and drag to the upper left. Last but not least, I want this to stay shaded. I want it to look like this part. So I'm going to come over here to the shaded section and I'm going to click it so that it highlights that in a little darker blue. If everything's where you'd like it, you can click OK and our clamp block is on the sheet. Next, we're going to go base. We're going to search and open existing file and find our bracket. We're going to click open. And again, we want to change this to be an isometric. So I'm going to go to the home view. And I'm going to click and drag on my part and move it up towards the top. It's already shaded because that's what I just previously selected. So I'll click OK. We're going to keep doing this pattern. Base, search, the next part. And this is bracket 2 isometric, click, drag, and hit OK. Base. Now I'm going to show an assembly. I'm going to open up the brackets together and I'm going to go to the home view. Now when I put these together my home view doesn't look very descriptive. So for this one I actually want to turn it to this back corner because that assembly looks a little nicer than the back side. This is what I'm going to click and drag up here and hit OK. Keeping her moving, base, search. We need our frame guide, home, click, drag, OK. We need our base, search. I have done the wheel as well. Home view, click, drag, OK. Base, search. Down at the bottom, our blow your mind one. If some of you did that, we're going to put that on our sheet as well. Click, drag, OK. And finally, we all definitely need to make sure that we have our performance test on there. Cradle 2 is our performance test. We're going to open that up. We're going to go to the home view. And we're going to put that down here. If you wanted to spread things out at this moment, you can click on the little red boxes around your part. You can no longer click on the part and drag them. If you come to the red box, though, you see the move symbol allows you to move these parts. If you wanted to spread them out, move them into new locations, 
make your page look pretty good. Anything you'd like to do, you can spread them. We're going to do one more thing with our performance test here. We are going to come up and we're going to annotate it. We're going to add just a couple dimensions here. So one of the dimensions I want to do is a dimension that tells me how long this line is. So I'm going to click on that red line, click, move my mouse away, and click. I don't need to edit anything at this moment, I'm just going to say OK. And if you look, it's telling me that my part is 6 inches long. I'm also going to dimension from this green dot at the top, the very tallest point of mine, all the way down to the lowest point. And I'm going to pull that off of my part. And click OK. This is going to tell me that my part was 5 inches tall. Finally, I'm going to dimension from the front corner of my part to the back corner of my part. Click to place and hit OK. This is going to tell me exactly how deep my part goes. The rest of these things we can determine on our own. Uh, we need to see the overall dimensions. I'm going to come up to the top now. We're ready to save this. We're going to come to the inventor I and click Save As. You're going to go into your H drive. I'm going to go a little deeper into my H drive. I have some extra folders. And we need to give this a good name. So we are going to label it last name, your last name, comma, first name, your first name, comma, performance, test 2. This is an IDW, which is exactly what we want. We know that this is our part, and we're going to click Save. This is the file that you guys are going to turn into Google Classroom to show what you have created and where, have you, where you've come through the Inventor unit so far. I hope this has helped, and I look forward to speaking with you again in the next chapter.